Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be another good one. We're gonna do an updated house tour. I haven't done one of these in a few months, so it is much needed. And I need you guys' help. So there's a few areas in our home that we're gonna be working on this summer, and I am just torn between a few choices, and I'm gonna need your help. So I'll flip you guys around. Let's start upstairs and head through each of the rooms, and let's discuss what new things have been added or what things we want to add. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, but let's get started. So guys, we are upstairs. Let's start in the guest room. So I did finally find a dresser that I liked. So that's in here. So our guests have the dresser, but they also have this closet, which is empty. I just have hangers in there and then a little... Um, laundry basket for their laundry. So they do have the fullness of this closet as well. But now they have some dressers. Um, I just use kind of decor that we had to style it, but I like that little welcome sign. I think I got that years ago from Walmart. So I have that up there to just welcome our guests. I did add for the bedding, I added in this leather pillow. It came in a set of two, the other ones like in the play area, and then this cushy, um, soft blanket, and that is from Amazon as well. So the help that I need from you guys is this wall. Um, I was thinking that I would put like a um, shelf with hooks so guests could hang up like different things. I will style it with like a um, western type hat and maybe like a Texas landscape print above it. I think that would be really cute since they are here visiting us in Texas. What do you guys think? So this wall, the closet will open fine even with it there. So I was thinking putting the hook about here. I mean the shelf with the hook putting the, or maybe a little bit lower, putting the landscape print above it. And then over here, I'm still on the look for like a skinny bench. I think that would be good for guests to put on their shoes. But let me know this wall, because it, it looks kind of bare. Everything else is kind of covered and it just looks a little bare. So I thought that would be a nice touch. We did grab a few Texas books. So we have y'all need this book. It's just everything you need to know about Texas. And then this one is the official guide to te the Texas State Park and historical sites. And we thought that was a nice little touch as well for our guests when they're visiting us. Next area, which I feel like I never really show that much, but this desk was built by my husband. It's there and it has like the metal legs. I love it. But we are still do, gonna do, so this summer, um, when my parents come back to visit, we're gonna get a few things done. But we're gonna, we have um, some oak. We're gonna put two shelves up here. So that's coming summer 2023. Um, we're gonna do that for this area. So that will also give us storage and then a, a cute place for me to style and put some things up. So shelves will be in this little area here. And it's gonna, I think it'll finish it off nicely. We will probably stain it the same color as the butcher block top. You guys can see my chair is that leather too. We have leather in several areas just to kind of pull it all in. Playroom, we haven't done much over here. Um, I did grab some new, so the other le leather pillow that you guys saw, lighting's bad, but that was in the, um, what is that? That was in the guest room. The other leather pillow is there. Um, I just have, that's Brooklyn's little lemonade set that's out for this time of year. She plays with it. But I did add some pillows on the sofa. So I added in the gray ones are actually a two pack from Walmart, but I think they match the couch pretty well. And then the white ones were actually from Target after Christmas sale. I got them for $2.50, guys, like so cheap. I thought they were just great for and cozy for the play area. But nothing really here. We have storage bins back there. Um, Brooklyn's little 
kitchen area we have it kind of set up with lemon stuff but nothing we're doing good with the play closet organization i did this a couple a while ago i haven't come in here and straighten it up so this is what it is like i kind of see a few things that need to go back but yeah it's still doing good still holding up and still working for us so yeah it's we are very lucky we have this whole closet the top two the top shelves i use for like linen closet stuff and then the rest is brooklyn's toys for her playroom room nothing's really changed in here but okay this wall i was thinking not with the wood even though i love that little detail it's perfect in here you see we have more leather bringing it into all the areas brooklyn has no leather in her room but i was thinking for this this wall that color when we go downstairs in the master bath not the master bath the half bath downstairs i need you guys to help me i'm thinking maybe doing a little focal wall in there i want you guys to help me maybe using this color tying it in from another area in our house but and the bathroom upstairs i did add a new plant but we haven't done anything crazy in here it's working for us um it works well for our family and um yeah i just like to uh, more simple and minimal Coming downstairs, entryway I think is pretty much, I may have switched around decor here and there, but for the most part we haven't really changed anything in here and it just works good. I do need to find a few more decor pieces because I took out stuff for, um, that was Easter. So still something to go in here, something to go in there, but besides that it's working. Love our little um, rug. Here's a question. If you guys know good rug stoppers, it works in the bathroom. They don't work really good on this rug. And the rug, this is the same one that's in the kitchen, but I mean in the living room, but it doesn't really move over there because it has a heavy, huge sectional on it. But this area, your favorite rug pads, leave them down in the comments because I've tried a ton and I feel like they don't work and the rug still does slip around this bathroom so in the summer when we're after we do when we do the two um, floating shelves up there we're also going to work on this wall and then the wall behind it what do you guys think i say summer but it's probably it won't be till august because we're like traveling a little bit this summer and then we have people coming to visit us so we got a lot going on but this wall we're either gonna do board and batten, so this is the whole bathroom. Hi guys. The only thing we've done in this bathroom is add this mirror because it had our builder grade mirror that came that we got with our house when we bought it. You guys know when you get a new house build, some of the builder grade stuff that was there, we replaced it with that white mirror. This wall, that gray, I think it would be so fun to either do a board and batten, like it's in my son's room, but not with the wood, but just straight board and batten with that gray, or should I just do it white? Or we were thinking beadboard, but still with that colored gray. We have a ton of that gray left over, like um, in our garage. So what do you guys think? I'm thinking yes, but I'll need you guys your opinion. So yeah, adding that, the board and batten will probably come up to here. I will, it'll have like a little ledge on it. I was thinking like a beautiful landscape art piece up here, some hooks. I'll have the toilet tissue and that stuff um, in a basket hung on one of the hooks and then I'll style the other hooks. But should I do board and batten? Should I do, or should I do beadboard? And should I do it white or gray? Kitchen, haven't done anything crazy here at all. Um, I think since the last time we have added this blanket ladder, this little tea towel from Amazon that's really cute, but nothing crazy. Um, I did add another riser. Both of my risers are from Target. Um, but yeah, still loving our kitchen. I love the neutral state of it. It's so easy to decorate for the different holidays and to add in color or... 
um, texture as needed. I did add in this jute runner. I love, love, love it. I just wanted something here um, that would complement the other rugs that are in the area. And I thought this was perfect. It's neutral, but I love the texture aspect of it. And then here, didn't even add anything. I'm still going strong with fresh flowers. Um, having the fresh flowers each week, so loving that. Living room, um, nothing's much has changed here, but still need you guys' help. I'm a person, like, I don't do anything if I can't, if I just don't know what I want. I, like, wait it out. I just won't buy something to fill it in. But this, still need something to put over there. I was thinking, like, the strongest, what I'm leaning towards is three pictures, long pictures, maybe, and they're all one, but maybe they're in three sections, and then putting, like, picture um, lights above them. I don't know. That's kind of where I was leaning. I did add in some striped pillows. The fuzzy pillows are going to be going into the garage, so I'm going to need some textured lighter color pillows to add to the sofa. Outside, we didn't do anything crazy. Um, I did add a few little plants. Here is the garage gym. We actually, I filmed a video not too long ago with all of this in it, but we have been loving it. There's our boxes in the mirror behind me, and it has worked so well for our family. We have our little Bose speaker up there and our um, different signs, but a detailed video is up on my channel about all of this, but we just finished completing it, and it has been working very well for our family. So guys, that is it, but please give me your feedback on those items I talked about. The little bathroom down here, what should we do, board and batten or bead board? Should we go with the gray? I'm leaning towards the gray. I think it'll be a nice touch, especially because my cabinets in my kitchen are like a pewter gray color. So I think it would go great, but what do you guys think? And then in the guest room, what should we do for that? wall should we i'm thinking the shelf with the hooks what do you guys think if you were a guest in somebody's house would you want that and then a little pretty texas landscape picture above it i think that would be great for guests but let me know your ideas like i there would be a separate video when i'm finally done with the guest room to show you guys everything that i've done in there but i hope you like this little home update and I love getting on here and having you guys help me decide things for our home. But this house is truly, really becoming a home. Every time we add our little touches and just things to cozy it up. But thank you again for watching and I will see you very soon with a whole new one. Bye guys. I've been hanging on, counting days, thinking it was me all along.